Ten play drive for Florida here, trailing by four touchdowns. Mertz. That ball is picked off. It is Powell on the return. Mish Powell still on his feet. Mish Powell with the interception and the big return that forces Trayon Webb to finally tackle him. And Graham Mertz is still down after throwing that pass. He took a massive hit from Tyler Barron right after he let go of it. He wasn't able to look off the Washington transfer Powell. He doesn't just pick it off, but completely flips the field. And there are a lot of fans right now holding their breath, hoping Graham Mertz is okay. You see him wincing in pain after throwing this ball and getting rocked. And Mish Powell returned the INT. And the Canes are whipping up a storm here in Gainesville. Hey, guys, I think this is definitely roughing the passer. That's a yeah. swat to the head. That should yeah. definitely have been called. I don't think it rises to the level of targeting because it's it's a swat, but it's not really an attack. But roughing the passer. Yeah, but right. definitely roughing the passer. You don't have something that qualifies as targeting, but you definitely have a hit to the head. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so it's not necessarily defenseless player. It's just hitting the quarterback in the head. Well, yeah, he's defenseless, but again, that you want you want an attack or an indicator, and you could say the SWAT's an indicator, but really what they look for is a forearm to the head, yeah. a shoulder to the head, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So say hello to college football DJ Lagway. As Trayon Webb tries to push ahead. Well, he's a big body, six foot three, 240 pounds, was the number one ranked dual threat QB prospect coming out of high school. He has a lot of people excited because he just has things he can't coach. He has tremendous arm talent, a very quick release. He's also an excellent runner. And the zone read game becomes more of a priority now, I think, for Billy Napier with Lagway in the game. 